Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these bracelets right here. These are my original designs, and I like to call them the Dragazanias. Um, I really had no idea what to name them, so if um, you have a name, um, comment down below in the comment section, and maybe that will be the new name for the title. So yeah. But right now I'm calling this a Jagazania bracelet. I think this bracelet is super duper cool. And again, this is my own original design. And so this Jagazania bracelet is made on two looms. I know I'm very sorry, but it's made on two looms. I might do a one loom tutorial, but probably not. So don't expect it. It'll be a surprise to you if I do. But this is this Dragazania bracelet, and it's one of my favorite bracelets I ha I have, and it's definitely by far my favorite bracelet I've created. So yeah, now let's get started. So to make this bracelet, you're going to need um, rubber bands. I'm going to be using fuchsia, ocean blue jelly, um, this glitter white silicone, or these glitter white silicone rubber bands, and neon orange. Now let's get started. You're going to take your border collar and you're going to place it from here to here. And you are going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to place it from there to there. And then you're going to go from here to here and here to here. And then you are going to go all the way up your loom. You're going to stop at the third to last pin, so there should be two pins left on each side. So you're going to go up, like this, and you're going to do that on both sides until you get to the second to last pin. So I'm going to be doing that, and then I'll be right back once I've done that. So now once you've gone all the way to the end of your loom, you're going to go in again. So in, in, and then in, and in. Like that. So now we've finished our border, and we are ready to do these inside red bands. So you are going to take the color you want for that. So you're going to take your color you want for that, and you are going to start right here, and you're going to go like that, and you're just going to keep making zigzags all the way around your loom, like this, and like you, well, you're not going to exactly make zigzags for this front part and the back part, but if you aren't exactly understanding that, basically what you're doing is making triangles. So you're going to go like this, and you're just going to keep doing that on the side. You're just going to keep making triangles in the center, like this all the way up your loom. So. Yeah, I'm just going to do that if I can ever get that other band. So then now on this part, you're just going to do the same thing you did to the front. You're just going to keep making those triangles like that and then you're just going to do that same thing you did on this side to that side so yeah I'm going to do that and I'll be right back so now once your loom, sorry, now once your loom looks like this um, it should have a whole bunch of like triangles without the covers right there like to close it off, you should just have a whole bunch of triangles. And now we are going to take our 
rubber band we want for the mango I have in the middle right here. So I'm using ocean blue jelly for that. So you're just going to take those. And if you have noticed, you kind of have the setup you normally have if you have one loom in the stagger configuration. And it's smaller, but it's in the middle right there. Well, we're going to do another border with those. So we're going to take care of our bands and do the, the start. And then you're just going to go all the way up your loom like this. So this way, you have like a border inside your bracelet, like this, and it's just a normal border for if you're doing a starburst or something. And then you go into the center like that. And you're going to do that on the other side, so I'm going to do that. And you should only have one of your colors left. My only color left is fuchsia. Um, and but you you probably have a different color left because there's so many colors and you need um for different things. But anyway, now we are actually going to use your fuchsia bands, and you're going to use them for these turquoise bands you see right here. So you're going to take your bands you want for that, and you're just going to place them like this like that and you're going to keep doing that all the way up your loom so like this sorry like this and then you're just going to keep doing that all the way up your loom so yeah I'll be right back so now you are going to place these tapping bands you have in the middle right there. So to do that, all you're going to do, well in this one I use the same bands as I use for these zigzags, but in this one I'm actually going to use the same color I use for the border. So you're going to take that other band and you're going to, and it, these are all going to be triple capping bands. So you're going to take it and you're going to triple loop it on these middle pins. So you're going to place it right there and then you're just going to keep placing them all the way up your loom. You're not going to do it on these two pins or this last pin right here. So those pins you aren't going to place it triple capping band. But for all of the rest of them you are. So one there, one there, and one here. And you can do a ca normal capping band but I find a triple capping band looks better in the bracelet and makes the middle tighter and I like that um, but if you don't like that you can do a double capping band or if you like it really really tight you can do you can loop it around four times but I like three times the best so yeah. So I'm just going to finish these up right here. And there. So now once you finish that, it's almost time to, but it is time to start looping. So you're going to turn your loom around and what you are going to do is pull back this capping band right here grab that top of a band and loop it towards itself over here then you're going to pull it back again grab that last rubber band and pull it towards the where it came from um for both of these um we're just going to be keep doing that all the way up our loom so you're going to pull this capping band back grab that top rubber band and loop it forward and then grab that next rubber band and loop it forward and we're just going to keep doing that up your loom so I'll show you one more time and then I'm going to do it by myself 
So you're going to grab the top rubber band, loop it forward like that, and then grab that last rubber band and loop it forward. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now we are going to loop these blue ones or whatever color you are using. And it's just like a border on like a starburst or something. So you're going to pull back your capping band. Make sure you pull all of them back. You're going to grab the top rubber band. As you can see, I'm struggling to find the top rubber band. But now I found it, so you're going to take that top rubber band and you're going to loop it forward to that pin right here. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Grab that top rubber band and loop it to that pin over there. And then you guys know what to do. You just loop those ones all the way up your loom. So you're going to pull it back, grab that top rubber band, and loop it forward. On this pin, we have these fuchsia rubber bands, whatever color you use in the way. But all you do is pull those back, grab that top rubber band, and loop it forward. So, you do that on both sides, and you're just going to go all the way up your loom. So, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll be right back. So, um, sorry if my loom looks kind of uneven. It actually is. But don't mind that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to loop these two blue ones into the center. So, you're going to take this. Pull back all those bands in your way, grab that blue one, and loop it forward, and you're going to do that on the other side, too. It doesn't matter which side you start on, it's going to all end up looking basically the same. So now once you've done that, you are actually going to go back to the end of your loom, so right there. And now we're going to do these neon orange, or whatever color you're using. So, it doesn't really matter where you start. I like starting on this pin right here, then going that way, and then going back, and then doing this side. And then doing these middle pins right there. So, all the, it really is up to you, but if you want to do it how I do it, So I'm really sorry about that, um, but you're going to take your hook, pull back this capping band, grab that top rubber band, I didn't pull back all the capping band, grab, pull back all of the capping band, grab that top rubber band, and loop it towards itself. If it just comes off your hook, just put it back on. Then you're going to pull it back again, make sure the whole capping band is on the pin. Pull it back again, go towards the side, grab that one, top one, and loop it forward like that. Again, if your capping band comes off, put it back on, and then you're just going to take that one and loop it towards itself. And again, we're going to go that way, and we are just going to grab that top of a band and loop it forward. So, top of a band, loop it forward, top of a band, loop it forward, and top of your band loop it forward. I'll show you a few more times, but then I'm going to do it by myself. So you're going to grab the top of a band, which should be going on this side. It should be going that way. And I grabbed the long over band. I'm going to fix that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So here, now, we, I fixed it kind of, right, enough to be able to show you. So now what we are going to do is we're going to pull back those over bands, Grab that top rubber band, which actually should be going over there, and it'll go over there. And you're just going to pull them back again, and grab that last rubber band, and loop it back to itself. And we're just going to keep pulling those back, grabbing the top rubber band, and loop it back, looping it back to itself for this whole, for the rest, up, all the way up your loom. So, now... I'm going to show you that, you're going to do that, and then you're just going to keep doing that all the way up your loom. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So you did that, so you, your loom should look like that basically, and now we're just going to do that on the other side. So you pretty much know how to do this, but I'm going to show you a little bit anyway. So you're going to go, take just take the top of a band and loop it back towards itself. 
it's really not that hard. Like that. And you're just going to, again, do that same thing. But on this side, actually, the top of a band is going to go um, forward instead of backward. So, and then that means the bottom of a band is going to go backward. And it should be like that. You are, you're going to loop it, and, and, and if you aren't listening to this part, you're going to be like, what? That, 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 that's, that, that you're going to think that's not right. So, I'm telling you, it is right. So, you're just going to pull back that, those bands, grab that top, and loop it towards itself. And you always just loop it towards itself. Back or forward towards itself. So you're going to just keep doing this all the way up your loom. And so yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So you're going to notice right here my pins are very, very uneven. And I'm really sorry about that. But my bases, they just don't like my pins. I don't know why, but they do. So now all we have left to do is this middle pin right here. Loop all of those, all three of those back to itself. So pull it back. Pull all four of those back. Grab that top rubber band. And loop it towards itself right there. Now we're going to pull it back. Grab the top rubber band. And loop it forward to itself. Which should be this very center pin right there. And you can pull it back. Grab that last rubber band and loop it right there. Now we're going to go back to our beginning. Where we have this band right here. If you want to place the capping band on, and to make it look symmetrical, or better I guess, you should take that one off and then put a capping band right there. But I don't like putting a capping band right here, I just like using this as the capping band. So I'm going to use that as the capping band. So you're going to pull back these bands, grab the top of the band, and loop it forward to itself. And now this is just like the border on the inside, except it's bigger so you're going to do that and then you're going to do the other side like this sorry my hand was in the way a little bit I think and so now we're just going to pull back all of these there are a lot so you're going to need to pull it back all of them grab that last rubber band and loop it forward and the same thing on this side pull back all of those Grab that very last rubber band and loop it forward to itself. So we are just going to loop these single chains all the way up your loom on both sides. So I'll show you a little bit on one side, then I'm going to do both sides by myself because they're exact same and you should know how to do it with just my little teaching. So I'm going to pull those back, grab that bottom rubber band and loop it forward. It's very important you grab the bottom rubber band and just the bottom rubber band. Then you're going to pull it back again. Grab that bottom rubber band and loop it forward. Grab the bottom one and loop it forward. And we're just going to do that same thing on both sides all the way up your loom to the very last pins. So those pins right there. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now, once you've done the whole loom, what you're going to do is you're going to pull back these bands on this pin grab the very bottom ones and loop those forward and then grab, pull back all of those grab the very bottom and loop it forward and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so pull back those grab the very bottom loop it forward loop it forward and pull it back again grab, make sure you go to the very bottom grab that very bottom band and loop it forward. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our rubber band we want for our extension. I'm going to use glitter white. We are going to stick our hook in this pin right here. Put this band on our hook and pull it through. Make sure your hook is through all of those bands and make sure you pull this rubber band through all of those bands. This rubber band is what keeps your bracelet together. So you are going to want to make sure it's a good quality rubber band. Now we can take it off. So I'll be right back once I take it off. So I have no idea why this isn't being focused. 
But this is what your bracelet should look like. You can kind of see that better. I love this color combo, as I said in the beginning. Um, so if you have these colors, use them. They're be they, These colors just go w so well together. I had no idea. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna finish this. So you are going to take your rubber bands that you want for your extension. I'm using glitter white, and you're just going to make a single chain with your hook. So put this on. Pull it. I didn't pull it though. So you are going to put this on your hook, pull it through these bands like this, and then, so you should have that, and you just do that as many times as you need for it to be big enough to fit your wrist. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, so once it is big enough to fit your wrist, this is going to be, bit, I just need one more. So this, I'm actually going to do two more so it'll be a little loose. So here, so now once you've done that, you are going to take this C-clip, finally, and you're going to put it through these bands right there. And you're going to find this end right here that you use as a capping band. Stick those, stretch them, and then put it through your C-clip again. Like that. And now your bracelet is finished. So we really hope you like this tutorial. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!